Hi guys, welcome back. My husband just returned from the U.S., so we're super happy to have him home. So I thought it'd be kind of fun to do sort of one of those grocery haul type videos, but this is a import shopping. What do we bring back when we travel back to our home countries? So that's kind of one of these. It's a shopping haul type of a video. So this is the international version. Now, because it's Christmas, those bags up there in the top are Christmas presents. I'm not going to tell you what's in them, but I'll show you what the rest of this stuff is. And because he traveled by himself, he had just one suitcase to bring back. And so we didn't get quite as much as we do when we normally go over the summer or when there's more of us that are traveling. We always like to bring in all sorts of bits and pieces that we can't find in country or maybe we find at a really good price that we want to bring. So these are Christmas presents in these two bags. I'm not going to tell you what there is because sometimes my kids watch my videos, but just know they're Christmas presents. So there are all sorts of fun goodies in there. And clothes. Often we will buy, like I think my husband got some undershirts, underwear, socks, all sorts of things to kind of fill out our wardrobes, any little holes we find. My 10-year-old goes through socks like there is no tomorrow. So we are always buying socks whenever we travel. So we get the socks for my 10-year-old. And then my seven-year-old has gone through a growth spurt. So all of her clothes seem to be like all of her long trousers, her pants are like capris on her now because she has just jumped up in height. And so we needed to get her some clothes. So I messaged him a shopping list. And one of the things on that list was, can you get her some more trousers, some more pants? Because she's outgrown all of hers. And then also there's some socks for my three-year-old. I say three-year-old. He's not three until February. For my two-year-old, he also outgrew all of the socks that he had. And they're really inexpensive in the U.S. So I just had him grab uh, several things of them. These are for my 12-year-old. Oh, right. oh, look. So here, she wants to model. He bought her a little outfit. So she, this is this little outfit that he got her. So as soon as she, he got home, she went and put it on. So here, she's really like that. Anyway, so my 12-year-old needed some more long sleeve shirts. He outgrew all of the ones. We had gotten him some long sleeve shirts in the summer, but even between the summer and now, he's already outgrown them. So he grabbed a few more of those and also a jacket, a warm jacket. Often when we travel, we do try to get, especially to our home countries, we find some really good deals. And so got some next size up clothes and chocolate guys we always like to get chocolate when we travel we have good chocolate here but and and oreos i never really was that worried about oreos when we lived in the u.s but since moving here i really enjoy them it's funny what you miss what you don't really even think that you crave and what you're going to end up missing so those are some i think got those in frankfurt when he was there for the layover so then there is some Christmas cards. We don't receive post here, so we don't really get very many Christmas cards these days. But because he was back right before Christmas, some loved ones gave us Christmas cards. So that was a fun surprise. And then this is three of my friends did a bit of a, like a care package. There's all sorts of little bits and pieces in there that I'm going to have fun unpacking a little bit later when I have time. And then my 10-year-old, say he uh, wanted to get these Lego minifigures. So he did his research online and found them. And so he did all of the arrangements for that. And we had them sent to my mom's. So those are his little treasures. And then advent calendars. Whenever we travel right before Christmas, it's always fun <clears throat> to have little advent calendars for the kids. So that counts down to Christmas. So the month of December, they opened the first one first little window this morning so we got four of them for the four kids just one of those things it doesn't take up very much space and they're really light weight they look like they take up a lot of space but they don't so slide those in and they're very lightweight so it's easy to bring those 
kids enjoy them at Little Tradition. And then my calendar, you know that I like to have my calendar so I can plan ahead. Oh, and then this battery, I have a rechargeable little vacuum cleaner or reach that little vacuum cleaner that uses rechargeable batteries. Well, it stopped working. So I found one of these, I ordered one of those replacement batteries. So hopefully that is what the problem is. But anyway, you know that I like to use the calendar so I can be prepared and plan ahead. So that's for 2020. So I will be entering in all of my dates. The calendar I have now goes up just through December. So I wanted a calendar to move on for this coming year. And then, so yeah, so this is the shopping haul that he brought back. Oh, look, I forgot these are things over here. So there are food coloring. We're coming into the season of making a lot of Christmas cookies. So that will be fun. So food coloring. <coughs> and then also some flower stack towels. I saw those on a fellow YouTube's uh, YouTubers channel and I remembered I wanted them. Anyway, and then these also are little, some little crocheted cloths. Okay, so that was our version of sort of a shopping haul, expat version. Um, so when you live internationally, you never know what you're going to miss and what you, or what you're going to want to add to your shopping list, what you're going to want to focus on. So again, when we travel in the summer or when we go more of us, then we have a lot more suitcases. So back with all sorts of things. Anyway, but I was rather impressed actually. Those two big, great big bags of presents that he brought in addition to his all of those things that you saw and his own clothes so we're happy to have him back life is back to normal so welcome to December hope you guys have a great first week of December we just decorated for the for Christmas and this morning we have sort of had sort of a extended or a delayed Thanksgiving meal with some friends so life is good. Husband is back in town, so we are good to go. All the best, guys. I will see you later on in the week. Bye.